since you were last with me we have played nine matches and uh, we have only been beaten once and that was away to AFC Wimbledon <laughs> Hello, I'm Jamie and welcome to episode 15 of Rebuilding Derby. Coming up on today's episode, I've got two games for you, uh, both in EFL League One. First of all, we're away to Cardiff City and we're then at home to Plymouth Argyle. I will then uh, show you the conclusion of the transfer window, but I will be playing the uh, Oxford United game off camera. So uh, let's get into the uh, first match of the episode. This is the team that's going to go out and uh, try and uh, go and beat Cardiff. It's Kel Roos in goal, back four of Kane Ramsey, Dominic Revan, Bright Ari and B and Craig Forsyth. Regan Slater at the base of midfield, ahead of him Louis Sibley and Max Bird. Ryan Longman on the right, Joel Randall on the left, Kyle Joseph up front. Let's go and uh, try and beat Cardiff. And ahead of the uh, kickoff, after the uh, completion of the warm up and the confirmation of the lineups, uh, we will pump the fists and tell them let's keep a good run going and let's get into the match. And we need to drop some encouragement early on. A match we can win but uh, it's not going to be easy despite Cardiff's lowly position they're 19th in the table just two points clear of the uh, relegation zone but we are away from home and we have had a fair amount of draws recently we are looking like the better side but there's no highlights to back that up so let's demand a bit more See if we can't eke out a, a goal bef before half time. Go in with a lead. Uh, it's 25 minutes gone, still no highlights. We might have to. Uh, Consider a half time change. Um, there's a few players who are looking a little bit jaded. I think Kyle Joseph might be the one to come off. Okay, yeah, I think Kyle Joseph is going to come off at half time. Although Longman and Sibley are both, in fact, they've both recovered a little bit. So yeah, we'll take Kyle Joseph off at half time. So we will uh, thrash the arms. Say this isn't good enough. Swap Kyle Joseph with Tom Bradshaw. And. Kane Ramsey for Cornell McDonald as well. No, we'll leave that one. Too many players on uh, potential injuries. So let's uh, demand more. Forsyth gets it forward to Bird. Bird plays a disappointing ball, but um, Forsyth's won it back. Bird gives it back to Forsyth. Those two swapping passes. Slater gets involved, gives it to Sibley. Bradshaw plays it with Kane Ramsey. And Ramsey buried it. It's 1 0. Brilliant goal. In off the crossbar. We'll watch the replay. Zoom in a little bit so we'll get a better view. Sibley and Randall setting up Bradshaw, who gives it to Kane Ramsey. Ramsey, yeah, clips it in off the crossbar. Great goal. So 
that has put us back in touch just three points off the top of the league as it stands Longman is definitely looking like he needs to come off so we'll give Sam Baldock a go and Sibley I think will be the other one for Luke Dreyer but we'll wait till 70 minutes to do that one so we'll hold on for another seven or eight minutes and that will be the uh, the final substitution for ourselves today and yeah we'll do that now so Kane Ramsey with the throwing gives it to Revan Ramsey gets it back plays in Bulldog Ramsey gets it back again Goes short to Slater, who goes back to Revan. Inside to Arian B. Max Bird with the ball over the top for Bradshaw. Bradshaw rounds the keeper and puts it into an empty net for 2 0. 20 minutes left. And we won't watch the replay, but we will proceed with the. Uh, Substitution as planned. We are indeed just two points behind both Rotherham and Ipswich. And uh, hoping to just close out the, uh, the game in the last few minutes. I'm going to switch to uh, the very defensive, but not until there's only five minutes left. And not if uh, not if Cardiff score before that. So Revan, Arian B brings it forward. He's played in Randall. There's a player down in the middle, but nothing doing. Slater gives it to Randall. Cannoned off the post. And we will go. It's a very defensive. No, we'll do it. Just try and close the game out. Four added minutes. That is indeed how it ends. Cardiff City nil, Derby County two. So we will outstretch the arms, tell them that was good. Go and check whether the uh, media want a word. So we're just doing that now. And they do, so we'll have a quick chat with the media. in the pudding, goal at the very top draw, terrific and I think I'm well versed in these things and there we go and I will see you in the next match time now for the uh, second match of the episode that's home to uh, Plymouth Argyle and this is the team that's uh, going to take to the field, it's Cal Roos in goal, the back four of Kane Ramsey, Will Fish Bright, Ari and B, and Dominic Revan. Regan Slater at the base of midfield. Luke Dreyer and Max Bird ahead of him. Ryan Longman on the right. Louis Sibley on the left. Kyle Joseph up front. Let's go and win the game. Uh, before we do, we are obviously going to uh, give the lads a bit of a pep talk. Try and uh, get them uh, in the right frame of mind to win the game. So let's... Uh, pump the fists, tell them we're doing well and we're on a good run. 
and send them out. And we do actually have a chance to go top of the league today with a win. So let's uh, demand more and see how that goes down. Most of them have reacted fairly well to that. We've had the first shot, but not on target. No highlights in the first 15 minutes. So nothing obviously significant happening yet. Twenty minutes played and it's still highlightless. So we'll demand more again. Try and squeeze a little bit more out of the lads. We have finally had a shot on target, but wasn't worthy of a highlight. Sibley looks like he's not having his best uh, performance in a derby shirt. So he's looking like a prime candidate for the. Uh, the half time sub uh, Kane Ramsey with the throw in gives it to Dreyer inside to Slater over to Max Bird who goes back to Arian B brings it forward to Sibley who loses out it's played forward Arian B outpaces Ryan Hardy which is no mean feat Keeper gives it to Fish. Fish goes right to Kane Ramsey, who goes forward to Longman. Longman looks for help, gets it from Dreyer. Longman gets it back. Goes back to Ramsey. Ramsey inside to Slater. Slater back to Fish. Bird, Longman. Keeper spills it, and it's a corner. Sibley with the corner, in swinger, bright Arian B with the header, Derby 1, Plymouth Argyle 0. And we won't bother with the replay on this occasion. I think we all had a good view of that one. That has taken us into second place in the league, behind Ipswich Town only on goal difference. Looks like we're going to go in at half time, 1 0 ahead, and that is indeed what happens. So we will uh, point the finger, tell them that you're doing well, keep working hard, send them out again. And actually, I didn't do a half time sub, but we'll keep things under review for a little while. Ipswich have gone ahead. Birmingham could do with that match ending in a draw but an Ipswich win is better than a Birmingham win and nobody's looking like an obvious candidate for hooking at this stage So we'll save the uh, substitutions for 75 minutes. And it's Ramsey with the throw in, goes long. And it's gone in, flicked header from Ryan Longman. Not sure he intended it, but maybe he saw Cooper coming out and decided the. Uh, the header was the right option. I'm not convinced after watching that replay, but we'll take the goal. And it looks like Longman and Sibley are the two that need to come off on 75 minutes. It's 
So Bradshaw for Sibley. And Longman needs to come off as well. So we will do uh, Baldock for Longman. And I think it's likely to be either Ramsey or Ari and B as the final substitution. That we've made three, so that's it. We're done. And it looks like we are going to see the game out with a comfortable 2-0 uh, win over Plymouth Argyle. And we do indeed. So we'll just uh, tell them nice work, everyone. Give them all a pat on the head. And we'll talk to the media. Still a good side. Calvus is a club legend. Ponce was complete. And there we go. And I will uh, play the uh, Oxford United game off camera. And uh, I will see you on Transfer Deadline Day. Welcome back. It's uh, Transfer Deadline Day. The window has just closed and uh, this is a summary of the uh, transfers we've done during the window. We have brought in Tom Hamer who is a 23 year old uh, fullback. He can play right back or left back. Uh, we have signed him to, uh, to play left back and uh, the reason we've brought Tom Hamer in is because we've let uh, Craig Forsyth go. Kyle Joseph uh, joins us on loan from Swansea for the rest of the season and uh, he's a striker and uh, he's uh, got 8 goals from 11 starts so far so very pleased with him and um, also uh, Joel Randall joins us on loan from Peterborough for the rest of the season he's a winger, predominantly a left winger but can also play on the right and uh, he's in on loan for the rest of the season from Peterborough and if he's available at 110,000 at the end of the season we'll be looking to bring him in permanently and as I said just the one departure during the window and that was Craig Forsyth who left for Inverness for £10,000 and the uh, deadline day was slightly complicated by the fact that uh, we also had a game away to Oxford United and that game ended in a draw. That leaves the League One table looking like this. We're top of the league although we have played a game more than uh, all of our rivals. We're one point clear of Ipswich, two points clear of Rotherham, three points clear of Birmingham, all of whom have a game in hand on us and uh, then uh, come Wimbledon and Lincoln completing the playoff lineup, but they are some way back. Uh, and let's have a look now at uh, where we're going to come back. I think we will come back for, I'll bring you back, for Wickham Wanderers and Gillingham in League One. It's at the end of February. And um, 
that episode will uh, will take place tomorrow. So uh, if you've enjoyed that, please uh, leave a nice thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.